Hi Nancy and everybody else. I'm just going to run through how I download a font from the internet to um, add to my computer so I can use it in Hyperfont. So here I go, I've opened Google and I'm going to type in um, Dafont. Um, this is just one of many companies that where you can down have free downloads. And so now I'm going to click on fancy fonts. And at this point, I, I'd say there are certain fonts like this one, True Lies. I don't think you'll find that will download uh, or embroider out well if you downloaded it. So not all fonts will lend themselves to embroidery. But if I come down here, here's one here, Bubblegum. I don't think I have Bubblegum. So I'm going to download, download that. And here we have bubble gum zip. And so I'm going to click down here, bottom left corner, if you can see my mouse. And that opens up the um, um, the folder on my computer. Now, all downloads to my computer, I created a folder called Downloads, and everything goes in that. And here is the bubble gum TTF um, zipped file. And you can see it's zipped because it's got the percentage ratio here. And it's got extract all files here and I wouldn't get that option if um, the file wasn't zipped up and by zipped up um, it just means they rewrite the file in such a way so it's smaller file size so it sends faster over the internet um, but you have to like unzip it when you get to uh, um, get to your computer so I'm going to say extract all files and the box opens asking me where do I want to extract them to and at this stage I want them to still download uh, sorry to extract into my downloads file uh, folder so I'm going to say extract I've also got this box here checked show extracted files when complete so when I click extract it's opened up the um, the folder and the file of bubblegum TTF. This is the one that I was after, um, 24 kilobytes. Now, where do you put this on your computer? For me, I store all my fonts in my Windows folder. So on my C drive, I click the little arrow next to it and scroll down to Windows and click next to Windows. And here you can see the folder with all my fonts in it. So on my C drive, Windows fonts and all I do is come up here to my bubblegum the TTF file I'm not worried about the the gift there that's going to be something silly that's added on but this is the only one I'm interested in bubblegum tiff I'm going to hold my left mouse key down drag it and release it in my font and it's installing bubblegum font and that's all there is to it now on my fonts list on my C drive here we have all my fonts and down here somewhere should be the bubblegum font and I can't see it for the moment, where is it? Let me know bubble so bubblegum regular, so here it is, so I can click that and that just shows me the uh, the fonts and the options I've got from size 12 up to size 72 so um, it's already installed so I don't have the install um, there. So here we go, close down, close down, close down, close down. And now I'm having to wander over to my machine because it will not show up in the font list of my hyperfont and whilst the program is open it has to install it in the background. So if you already had your Singer Futura screen open and had a look in TTF, it would, wouldn't be there. So I'm going to disconnect from my sewing machine, come and sit back on the floor again, and cancel this out. Now, if I go to TTF next and go into select and type in bubble, there you can see there's my bubblegum font, regular. Um, italic or oblique, bold and bold italic. Okay, and then 
test. I'm going to select that and so I've already got my bubblegum font. Next, fill stitch, I'll do column stitch for this one because I haven't done column for a while. And there it is on the screen. Let's make it a little bit larger and say stitch it. So, and by the look of it, I have applique um, was the last thing that I did. So it's held in the applique option, but um, view the realistic view. So there's an applique version of that bubblegum bubble gum font. Um, I don't particularly like it, but there you there you go. So um, save it. No. So just to recap, download from the whatever website the the font that you want. When you open it up, unzip it somewhere. It really doesn't matter where. And then once you've got the unzipped TTF file, drag that into your C drive, Windows, fonts. And once it's in there, I know it will then become available um, to use on your computer, including a hyperfont. So I hope that helps. If that, if I've only confused you more, um, give me a shout and I'll see if I can answer any more questions. See you later and Happy New Year to everybody.